Hello there, friends. Welcome back. Thank you so very much for waiting, or welcome on into those who are just joining us. Shiva, that is a mood. <laughs> That's a mood that was me this morning. We had the window open last night. And, like, it's nice to I Mike and I both like sleeping in a colder room so we can, like, tuck under the covers. Um, but getting up and out of bed to go and close the window and, like, function first thing in the morning when it's freezing, not so fun. <laughs> so, welcome back, Stormer. Hoi, Mandolin. Welcome back, you guys. I just totally smacked my watch on the desk. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, but yeah, if you guys are just joining us, we are obviously playing Legends Arceus today. This is our weekend game at the moment, and I've been trying to progress story. Uh, we just beat, uh, or helped out Lilligant, Lilligant? I don't know how to pronounce it, um, which is the second frenzied Pokemon. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> that's what we just did. Um, other than that, I haven't really caught anything too interesting, I don't think. Although I do have to organize some Pokemon here really quick, so let me do that real quick first before we jump into more story. Cold rooms are the best. I definitely sleep better. I have, uh, if it's hot in the room or if I'm sweltering under a blanket, I tend to get heat-induced nightmares, which are not fun. Uh, it's very, very consistent, too. If I just start to get too warm, I'll just not be a happy camper. Um, <laughs> it was this one. You're, you're a alpha. Go. Did we catch any other alphas today? I don't think so. I need, I'll organize this at some point. Yeah, same here. Same here. I end up losing a lot of sleep in the summer because of the heat and it, it sucks. Although I love summer. I absolutely do. I love the, I love the heat when I'm not trying to sleep. I love... Uh, the amount of daylight. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Beans. Let's go ahead. I'll try to press plus to go on my deer. It does not work in town. Um, and let's go do some more story stuff here, shall we? Also, after story stuff, someone remind me to tell you guys the story about the shopping cart, okay? Forgot to tell you guys, Mike and I had such an experience the other day. Okay, there's main quest, but then there's side quests, so... Hi! His mouth was moving before I started talking to him. <laughs> there you are, you're the one, right? The one they've all been talking about? The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands. My younger sister Wanda is in the Security Corps, you see, and she went to the Mirelands too. But she never made it back. You managed to track down that Erzu woman in those boggy Mirelands, right? So, could you find my sister Wanda too? Um... What's she smell like? <laughs> Anything I can go off of? We plan on using a Pokemon to find her. Uh, would her favorite uh, kerchief maybe help? Count any, please find Wanda wherever in the Myland she's ended up. Tell us about the shopping cart. <laughs> Fall weather's the best, nice cool days. Or nice days with cooler temperatures, yeah. And I would agree about spring as well, but I have spring allergies, so... I'm usually getting smacked in the face by those, so fall is pretty good. Uh, watering with care. There's a pseudo wood. Oh. Mm, you don't water those, but okay. Uh, pseudo wood at the bog bound camp that seems to be feeling rather poorly. Odo, one of the chaps in the village, is doing his best to treat it, but he could use a bit of help. Oh dear. <laughs> you don't water those. They don't like. Okay. Oh, there's another quest downstairs. But yeah, anyway, okay. Shopping cart. I'll just tell you guys now. Um, since we're running around. Um, we have a laundry room in this building that is in the basement. So you go down the elevator, take down your laundry. It used to be coin laundry, but now it's card. An app base, which is really nicely updated, like, last year. It's lovely. Um, anyway, Mike and I were downstairs picking up our laundry. Um from the dryer, so it was our last trip downstairs. And there was this guy who was already in the laundry room when we da went down. It's a very nice, bright, open room. It's actually quite lovely. And... I didn't really think too much of him. I thought he was there with his own laundry. Like, I didn't really pay attention to him. He's just like an older, middle-aged white guy. <laughs> That's all I saw at the court of my eye. I was not watching him. So Mike and I leave, and he comes out after us, a little while after us. And in the area where... 
you get in and out of the elevators, there's this shopping cart from a local grocery store. It's like one of the smaller shopping carts, not like a big full-size one. And Mike and I both looked at it and we're like, that's weird. <laughs> you know, one, how did they get in the building? I'm assuming through the parking garage, because um, that's also down there. Um, and two, why? <laughs> right? But then this guy comes down, he follows after us, and he goes up to the shopping cart, and he grabs it, and I'm just like, okay, weird. Um, one of the elevators ended up opening up after a while, Mike and I got on, and there was another man in already with his McDonald's, which is important to me. <laughs> and what a lot of people in my building do, or what some of the elevators sometimes do, is they'll get on at the main floor, ride it down to the basement, then ride it up. Just because sometimes the elevators just want to go to the basement for whatever reason. Um, it doesn't even need to be called. Sometimes they just they just do it on their own. Um, and because of COVID, like, you know, for the last, like, you know, what, two years, uh, we've had restrictions in our elevators where you can only have three people max, unless, like, you know, you're traveling all together. Um, in an elevator, there's signs posted everywhere. You're not meant to have more than three people. So obviously it would be this guy with his McDonald's, me and Mike, and that makes sense. This middle-aged white guy, right? <laughs> the basement ghost need to lift up to the spear. Oh my god. Random. <laughs> um, this middle-aged white guy with his gosh darn small shopping cart pushed his way into the elevator. Like, you know, squeezing us all back. I was just like super, super rude about it. I didn't even recognize him. Don't think he was even from the building. If he was, he's new. Um, and Mike being Mike being, you know, um, bold <laughs> and not scared was like, dude, three people per elevator. And this guy was so rude. But he's like, oh, I'm only going up one floor. Like this guy was already in here. Like that makes a big difference on top of coming in with the shopping cart. And like, he was just so rude. And I have no idea where he was coming from or what he was doing with the shopping cart because he got off on the ground floor and then walked outside with it. I still have, like, no idea what he was doing, and he didn't have any laundry with him either. Top 10 anime rivalries. <laughs> it was just weird, and I'm still, like, kind of thinking, what was he doing? What is the- what chain of events led to this man with his shopping cart that he was very aggressive about? <laughs> I wish I had a conclusion. I don't. That's the story. I have no idea what he was doing, but he was very rude. Um... And I hope his shopping cart got stuck in the snow or something. I don't know. Rude. Nostalgic and unmistakable fragments. If only I could smell it again. I wonder if the herbs from my home region can be found here in Hisui as well. Oh, you're part of the Survey Corps, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. I've heard it clings to specific Pokemon. Okay. Just let me know if you manage to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off it. Homeless man looking for clothes. He looked like it's possible, of course, but he looked very like. I think he was even wearing like a proper like collar shirt and everything. He looked very well for himself, to be honest. But it's possible. Anything's possible, of course. Um, he could have been in there looking for clothes, but the shopping cart was also empty. That's the other thing I'm going to mention. It was clearly from our current, like our very close by grocery store as well. Did you find the Pokemon though with the blue vine-like herbs on it? I think I've caught plenty of them. Unless you want the bigger one. Just look at it, it's a solid lump of vines. And this aroma, this is the scent I remember. Yes, these are the herbs from my home. Didn't expect Pokemon to be so absolutely covered in herbs. I mean, vines. And are the vines moving? What if the Pokemon itself looks like under, uh, underneath all those? <laughs> Anyway, thank you for finding it. There we go. That was good. Don't worry, I'm only gonna take a little bit of your vines to use as herbs. Would that hurt it? I have an idea. If I lived with a Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this aroma every day. Where'd she go? <laughs> yeah, no, he may have... Like, again, it's possible he was a new employee, but didn't recognize him at all. I think he said thank you for welcoming me, so he could be a new person in this building. 
Yeah, Super Saiyan, that's, that's exactly right. It's very possible. I don't know. Just super rude about it, you know? So you successfully calmed Lil Gint. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it's all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, you don't say. And then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motivate or motives are beyond impung impung I don't know this word. It was a word. Oh, MCP! <laughs> well, I mean, it's a shiny, yep. Yeah. It's a shiny. Just stream super embarrassed that he acted that way. <laughs> there you go, piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove. Now this is the life, enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings of our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? All oh, right, uh, have this flash in your recipe crystal. It ought to scatter those gloomy thoughts. Scatter bangs. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll find your way. His words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete the Pokedex of ours someday. The next day. Morning, sleepyhead. Oh, it's that lady again. <laughs> I still don't really trust you. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser's shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be a little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Anyway, come on over to the hairdresser's when you can. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. Okay, I need to go see these new ones. Please that you found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Uh, Mr. Komodo, sir. Uh, so, about that whole Ursaluna situation. If you're to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Dude, how come you're immediately accepting her, but you're like, you fell from the sky to me? I know I did, but still... <laughs> And you, Crystal, you'll come with me to Prelude Beach. Is that the right way? I guess that is the right way, isn't it? These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They'll live uh, together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It's where everything began. This is where a new life for you all will begin as well. We've heard of the, uh, that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokémon. But we've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokémon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Crystal here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Uh, through the combina or combined efforts of all of our team members, let's continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. That's cool. The advancement of our understanding of Pokémon, thanks to the Survey Corps, as it spans the areas where we can operate safely. That as well allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Crystal, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? Oh, that sounds familiar. I remember this line. Pop 
Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. Yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one of the Survey Corps. Or in. <laughs> Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Excuse me, boss. Irida from the Pearl Clan's here. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Crystal, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you'll come to my office. Alrighty. Cool! Uh, Mercy, what a treasure this wide open land is. I'm glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I doubt it'll stay quiet and empty for long. That's exciting. I, I do like how it seems the changes you make to the village, whether it's giving people Pokemon or some of the buildings being finished. Like, that's kind of neat. I think we're going to get a similar vibe from Kirby from what we've seen. Because there's the whole like unlocking aspects of whatever the village was called, I can't remember. Gosh, this quest never again. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's different. Oh, side quest galore, hello? Hi. Let me, let me do everything, please. <laughs> Quests. What a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon I belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it with not but its tail poking out. It is a tail I'd give anything to see again. Thank you, you catch the Pokemon I'm talking about. The tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it and I'll give you a nice reward. I don't think we've caught that Pokemon yet. Oh, I need to start checking in on this more often. <laughs> Yeah, Richard, that's exactly it. Thirty-two apricorns, seven spoiled ones. Um, just keep doing more of these, I think. Oh, if I only could add, where's my money? If I could add six thousand to my money right now, <laughs> just instantaneous. Oh, wait, I can. Bear with. Bear with. That's the wrong button. That's not running in this game. Um, can I sell straight from my inventory? Hello again. Oh, that was not English. <laughs> Hello again, valued customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid uh, Tao is refusing to do business with me again. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure will get somewhere if you bring three pop pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after this he'll actually accept me. Uh... Oh, I can only take from my inventory, I see. Oh well. I wanna get- I wanna get an even amount of money. It doesn't make any difference, I just want to. Um, also, I can organize this while we're here. Are these pot pods? No, I was hoping these would be. Your storage was on the right menu? Was it? Let me go back and check that, actually. I didn't see a way to access it, but I probably wasn't looking clearly. Also, I want to check out on uh, her hairstyles as well. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. For some reason, I was like, oh, that's what he has to sell me. I don't know why. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wrong button. Wrong button. It's not quite nice, but like, you know, let's not. 
Okay, now I am happy. Um, hair. Let's see what they got, because I, I like our current thing, to be honest. I could make it nice. Grab yourself a seat. So we got short, long, survey core, which is the one we've had, shorn, middle part, side part, uh, pigtails, which is kind of cute, curled, which again, like, I, I want to like, <laughs> eh, you know, maybe I will go for a change. And I think we got some different colors here, maybe. I think I'm going to stick with um, what we've had, though. Which hairstyle do you guys use, by the way? Just for now, we'll see. I might change this later. Hey, what's that Pokemon up there? What's its name? What'd it do? What what it do? <laughs> Are you looking at the Magikarp? Magikarp, what's it called? Magikarp! Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? Um It's pretty cool. It's cool. Why is it cool? Which part is cool? Tell me, tell me. Well, I'm closest to being bald. <laughs> tell me more, please. You're gonna go learn about Magikarp, right? Can you tell me when you're all done with its page and your Pokédex? I like how they did that. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're done with Magikarp. Actually, I don't think I've even probably seen a Magikarp yet, have I? Or I might have seen one. Yeah, we have our, our gold one, but not done with it yet. <laughs> Um, okay, so there's that quest. There's a Pokemon I think would be perfect for inspiration for some new designs. A species called Shellow CC I've heard has different forms depending on where it lives, with different coloring too. If you just compare its different forms, I'm certain I'd be filled with inspiration. City and fields. Okay, yeah, so we haven't been to this place yet. But I'm sure we're going very soon. Um, all right. I forgot the guy at the farm. See you again, Miss Survey Corps. I've got, got a great time, and as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see, but we don't have enough helpers to keep them watered. If you lend us one of your Pokemon that knows water, a water-type move, I'd be plenty or mighty grateful. I cannot read today. Um, which one do you want? You can have... Um... Can have a side look. And Pokemon should be a big help in expand the fields. Might as well get started. Oh, Art, hello! And Waspier, hello as well! <laughs> Welcome on in, Art. Thank you so much for that 20 month resub. That's very much appreciated. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. Uh, your Pokemon is an irrigation sensation. I'm all pumped up. Sit back. Old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. <laughs> and I'm all done. Some fine work. Any crop we plant here will do great. It's all thanks to you two. Keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a while longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon of yours to do the watering. Yay. Hey, Jordan. 
Got lots of work to get done this afternoon, but still be here for support. I really do appreciate that, my goodness. Thank you. Enjoy your lurk. Best of luck with whatever you have to work on today. Scary, there are so many people. Yeah, that's how I feel going out, too. Your random hasn't gotten his sword back yet. Putting this out there, it's, it's random's own silly fault. Where am I going? You inside? Twitching or glitching? Yeah, Serena, they tend to do that. Oh, <gasps> Evie! I've only been banned once. <laughs> Why, if it isn't one of the youngins from the Survey Corps? Good thing you dropped by. Need some help making friends with this Eevee. Think you could lend a hand? Canal and my granddaughter brought the little guy home with her the other day, and I want us to be on good terms. So cute. After thinking long and hard, I said the best way to win Eevee over is the old-fashioned way. Tasty treats, yes, that's how you win my heart, too. <laughs> So I'll be whipping up a special snack from my hometown. Some of the ingredients for it don't grow here in Hisui, but I found a few local berries and things that'll make good enough substitutes. Three stalks of hearty grains, two hobo berries, and one raspberry is what I need. Counting on you. Do I have to bring that from my... inventory? All your shines random. Um... I was hunting for Espeon. Um, I found Driftloon along the way for the Eevee Howard, uh, so I got those two around the same time. The Alpha Rapidash was very random, <laughs> and the other ones that I don't have on my team I was hunting for. Um, let's see. Okay, so it was Hardy Grains. Um, Popo berries and something else. What was it again? I've already forgotten. Um, raspberry, thank you. I should know what that looks like. <laughs> I do play Pokemon Go. There we are. But yeah, I, um, even in another, like, I think the only game where I had really good random encounter shiny luck was, uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, for whatever reason, I just kept running into shinies, um, but in these games, I, I usually have to hunt for them. Have I missed a lot of story? A little bit. We have tamed the second frenzied Pokemon, which is Liligant. Um, some new people moved into Jubilife. And I think we're heading out to the next area soon, I believe. I see you found all the ingredients I asked for. Three stalks of hardy grains, two hopo berries, and one raspberry. Are you happy to give these to me? Sure. Wonderful, these ingredients look nice and fresh. I'll get cooking, so wait here a while, would you? Look at how good in here, thank you. <laughs> We only just changed the hair. The outfit I'm I'm really liking as well. Okay, they're all done. Let's have a taste before giving one to Evie, shall we? Hometown muffin. Mmm, <laughs> this <is> interesting. <laughs> I guess the taste is fine, but it's not the same as the muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist and having a nice, delicate flavor to them. Sorry to waste your time after all the trouble you went through to gather the ingredients for us. But I'm afraid these mediocre muffins won't be enough to get me and Evie's good books. Honestly, I think Evie will be fine. <laughs> What's the matter, Evie? Do you want one? Well, I won't stop you. Here you go. You like it that much? That's great. I'm so glad. You want another? I don't think that's wise. Too many snacks will give you a belly ache. Oh, now who could resist that cute little face? I'll spill you rotten if I'm not careful. Me, though. <laughs> Me with Ollie. <laughs> Thanks to you, it seems Evie and I will get on just fine. More than fine, even. I'm in your debt. As for my new muffin creations, they're not quite the same as the ones from my hometown, so... 
How about we just call them Jubilife muffins instead? I think I know just what to make uh, them even tastier for my darling Evie, too. I've jotted down my ideas, so here you should try making some for yourself. So recently, in our Chronicles of Ollie's adventures, um, and for anyone lurking or maybe in Ollie is my three-year-old uh, orange tabby boy, he's chaos in cat form, but he can also be such a such a good boy. <laughs> um, but he can also just be pure chaos. Um, okay, that was all the quests. Perfect. Um, that could totally be an anime. It could be. It could be. Um, he, in the last year, has learned that wet food is one of his favorite things of all time. And um, I've been trying every night to give him about half a can of wet food um, just to supplement his diet with... Um, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. He supplement his diet of the dry food. A little bit of both, I think, is probably good for him. Um, and he loves it, too. So every night before bed, <laughs> I will give him half a can. He eats it, and then he usually ends up passing out because it's, it's heavy, I guess. And he just he sleeps through the night, so it's perfect. Um, but recently, what he started doing is he's learned the routine, and he'll come to me at like eight o'clock, so which is a bit early, and start begging and start crying at me for it. Um, and when he sees me walk towards the kitchen, he'll come running like with his little tail up, and he gets all excited. Um, I'll take a video of it one day because it's really cute, but he'll um, come up beside me as I'm working at the kitchen counter. And he'll stand up, and he's a very tall boy. <laughs> I do, Pepper, yeah, I do. He's he's very, very tall. He's a big cat. And he can just peek over the kitchen counter to kind of see what you're doing. Um, and you just get these little taps on your leg, and like he starts purring. It's the cutest thing. <laughs> I don't think I have a picture of him doing it. It is adorable, though. So if I remember, um, if I remember, I'll try to get a picture, but I, I don't think I have one. I went and deleted a bunch of my old pictures, actually, uh, off this phone and saved them to my computer, so. Yeah, for anyone curious. There's my boy <laughs> sitting in a ring con. He's very cute. I'm biased because, you know, I'm cat mom, but still. So this cat does the same thing. He eats at five. We'll start meowing us for dinner around three. Yeah, he don't quite get the time. <laughs> uh, Krogan's curative poison. <gasps> Obi, that emote is adorable. <laughs> Seems that uh, Pacelle, the captain of the medical corps, intends to make some medicine using Krogan's poison. Find out what help she needs. Oh, I just lost hearing in one ear. It just suddenly popped and then it went. Oh, that was weird. And now it's ringing on me. That's fun. We love that. Um, he knows what time it is. He just wants the food when he wants it. <laughs> okay, so we have a whole bunch of new quests. One in the basement, or is it upstairs? It'd be in here, right? Oh, is this it? Yes? Oh, was this the one we were talking about? Hopefully it's not. <laughs> That's the general time is between four and five. He usually starts meowing at three, yeah. See, the thing is, for Ollie, he always has dry food down, always. Um, he doesn't really devour his entire bowl when we put it down, he just munches through the day. So he's not, like, starving hungry, he just wants the wet food, because he knows it's coming. <laughs> uh, you're here for my request about Krogunk. Remember the Diamond Clan told me that they make medicine by diluting Krogunk's poison? Medicine made from Krogunk's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to have some to give Buck, the poor gentleman bedridden from back pain. I know how to make the medicine, so all I need is some help getting my hands on the Krogunk poison. Head to Crimson Islands and catch me at Krogunk, would you? Oh, I got you. She's a quest after this one. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Same thing for my sister's cat. He's just a fat boy. Oh. <laughs> Brandon, nice. Congrats. This is Krogunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? I need a smidgen of your poison, please, Krogunk. Would you be so kind? Let me just spit this at you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now to whip up that medicine. There we have it. That's ought to be super effective. Did she just... <laughs> Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? Bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people in Pokemon if we could set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon worked alongside... or worked side by side with us, sorry. Of course, we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. I'm starting to think the Survey Corps will work to help us in ways people aren't even aware of. I sell my poor back, it's screaming. <laughs> One moment, I've got a mess, and the ought to be a great help. Looks like we'll have Buck up uh, on his feet again, thanks to you and Krogunk. I drag food all the time, and he gets wet food every other day, otherwise he just wastes it. He gets locked up at dinner every time. Every day, so he doesn't get wet food. So he's like, wait, I changed my mind! <laughs> Why is her one of her ponytails undone? You know, that kind of bugs me too. <laughs> Hey, Natalie, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Okay, let's go see about story, shall we? Fashion. <laughs> Something I know very little about. But you know, oh heck. I was gonna do my own self-plug and then this guy interrupted me. But you know what I do know about chat? Is that we low-key got merch, low-key. If you want to tingle someone's bottle, you can. <laughs> I, uh, I love this shirt, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> and if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen, um, let me find it. Is it exclamation mark tingle? I think it is. If you haven't seen the reference that this shirt is making, <laughs> do yourself a favor. Long story short, I left uh, Discord uh, text-to-speech on. I was playing Dead by Daylight with someone, I think, or Splatoon. I left text-to-speech on um, so I could hear people typing when I was playing so I didn't have to look over, and then I forgot about it the next day when I started stream. <laughs> Tingle my bottle. Turn to her talk and might be a day after. She'll then have a new request. Okay. And you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Next hour is going to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coast. Coastlands, sorry. I'll let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Let me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands, but until a few years ago, a tragedy took it from us. Sorry, I can't read. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the Security Corps and the Supply Corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this uh, desecration of our late Lord's seat. Normally, I entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. Oh, is it, Rosie? <laughs> Uh, I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. <laughs> I love the Twitch clip names. Hilarious flirty ducks. <laughs> I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be bewildering a bewildering situation to be dropped into. Because I fell from the sky? I'm sorry. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Crystal is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she'll sort things out. Indeed, Crystal Clor... Clored? Oh my god. Quelled and Lord. <laughs> Clored. <laughs> Quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both her strength and her kindness firsthand. I can't read. <laughs> the next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. 
It is further afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much further, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. Okay, but like low-key, let me up my rank first and then we'll go. Bored. <laughs> but yeah, so this became a shirt. This design was done by Anne. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, and you can get your own <laughs> if you are so inclined. Um, I don't usually like to... Oh, is this a new building? Have I just twigged that? I think I have. What kind of Pokemon is this almighty Sinnoh, I wonder? Yeah, plug your stuff more. I do, I do. Also, you guys said to talk to that person again, so I'm just gonna go talk to them. If I don't trigger it, it's fine. We'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, I like it too. It's it's a really cool little part of the game. Medicine should take effect before long. It's bound to help Bucks back feel better. I almost said butts back. <laughs> mm, I cannot read for love nor money today. You know? I don't know if I'm feeling the hair chat. I may actually go back to normal. I'll pay another 500 for going back to normal. <laughs> I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I want a, just more curly hair options, please. Longer curly hair. Don't have it tied up. Don't have it, you know, pinned. I'm fine. I'm fine with this. <laughs> we don't have long curly hair options in bossing. <laughs> I don't want to watch Avatar again. I get emotional. I I I don't know. Avatar was so great. And there's, I think, two different- I think they're different episodes that I don't think I'll be able to go through again without crying. So I'm kind of putting it off. <laughs> Kiyoshi Island, yeah. Yeah. Um, I always run over here to craft. I don't need to, but I do. Um, I could just craft in my inventory, but... Habits, you know. Um... We'll make more of these. Here we go, and some more of these too. Oops. Oops. Back in wrong button. Um What button am I trying to get to? This one, here we go. Okay, good. I haven't talked to that person, child, ghost, potentially friend. Um for the Wisp quest, I should probably go find them. If they're still here... Yes, they are. Totally non-suspicious. Yep, definitely normal child. Uh, since you gathered five, here's a little thank you present. Thank you. Ten. Your candy. Okay. I'll take that. Okay, how's our Pokedex doing right now, you guys? Mm. I feel like there's definitely a lot in the Crimson Marlins that we haven't done yet. Um, so like this one I could probably do. Baneri. Um, Combi, I need to work on. Scyther. So maybe let's go out to the main area first. I want to progress, but I also don't. <laughs> ah, if it isn't Crystal. I just noticed he was covered in mud. <laughs> Though I suppose it's to be expected that I run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Uh, Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Uh, Polina's certainly a, in a bit of a situation over there. 
She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that'll speak ill of her, though not to her face. Rude. Oh, but do forgive me, perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of, piece of advice. Piece of advice, then. As an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout history will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Brick pebbles, brick gravel. Should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Okay. I should probably go and evolve some, like, Pikachu and Eevee, and we can evolve Scyther and stuff, I think. Maybe I should do that now. I just want to upgrade my, um, my research level before we get into the next area, that's all. Um... Love this great stuff. Makes Eevee train so much easier. I love it too. It's really, really good. So Pikachu. Grab you. Um, there are still trade evolutions, but you do not need to trade to evolve per se. There's other means. Um. Hey, Aaron, how are you doing today? Who else are we? Where's all my Eevees? <laughs> Miss cooking so much. Pepper, what did you have? I love that. Cooking is fun. It really is. Did I not save all my Eevees? Oh, there you are. Okay. So, Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, and... Lord knows, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Doing pretty good? I'm glad to hear it. Effort levels. EVs are still there and your Pokemon gains them. They just aren't used to calculate anything. Okay, let's take a look. What do we got going on in here? Okay, good. So we got these ones. Moonstone, shiny. Dot. Okay, so I can't evolve. You can also use the stones for Glaceon and Leafeon in this game? Or am I wrong? Alright, we'll do randoms first. Yes, okay, cool. I just need to get the stones then. I think I've actually caught a Flareon last time. Um, but... I'm not against it. So cute! There we go. Let's get our Vaporeon. Taco mints with pepper, onion, thin tomatoes. I normally break up the taco shells and make a salad, but left out those for a bad salad and cheese on top. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. I'm sure it's filling too. I love that idea. I found um, over the last year, I don't really have a lot of sandwiches and bready things anymore, but if I do, I use wraps. Um, I enjoy it a lot. So substituting or removing, that's really good. And then my childhood favorite one. Marissy, hello, how are you doing? Yeah, I've seen the mossy rock, yeah. Can I, do I have to have high friendship? Or can I just take Evie to the mossy rock? I don't remember how it works. Ooh, Kitas, those are good too. Oh, apparently I hadn't caught a Flareon. I guess it was my other save file? Just stand next to it? Okay. We'll bring her, uh, an Eevee with us then. Oh, I pick up so <laughs> sorry. Um. 
Oh wait, Pikachu. Right. Forgot. Eat more cereal and stuff? Yeah. I've had a weird craving for like Honey Nut Cheerios recently. No worries, Brandon. I hope you guys are having fun. I'm pretty sure we caught an Alpha Pikachu, but I kind of want to keep it. Brawn Cheerios the other day? Yes! So good. Same brain. <laughs> the collective mod brain cell. Uh, let's see. <gasps> oh, that does look yummy. Maybe we can do that for dinner tonight. Maybe I'll take a page out of your book. Because we don't have any ideas for dinner tonight. <laughs> But it would be going out grocery shopping again. We literally went out yesterday and only got stuff for yesterday. There they are. Okay, we'll leave Monferno, I guess, for now. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> Super easy uploads. Leftovers since it's only you eating it. Yeah, and honestly, leftovers are like meal prep. So nice. <laughs> I love being lazy. Spoiler warning, now hungry. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go to an area here. And I need Combi and Veneri and Scyther anyway, so this is a good place for us to be. Actually, not. Oh, wait. Oh, satchels. <laughs> I was going to travel to the Grand Tree, but like, nah. There's satchels to collect. Where is it? There it is. That salsa. Didn't think to make my own, hence why I added the tin tomato. Yeah. I do have some salsa actually right now that I've been meaning to work through, so I bought it for um, avocado toast, which is really, really good. But um, I need to use it up soon, so. I love avocados. Avocados don't love me. It's one of the uh, worst contact allergies I have. <laughs> I'll still eat them constantly. You can't stop me. Where is this? Over there. <laughs> Dog food eat to me. <laughs> so good. There we go. Okay. This was Richie's satchel. Look at how many I got. Jeez. Uh, and then we can go over here. Whisper the names of foods into Pepper's ear. <laughs> Honestly, that would that's how you get my attention too. Ooh, there's an Alpha Paris right there. That's horrifying. Gotta be good food though. Pepper, you're always pretty. You have very purple hair. We're here for it. style of a Mark and Spencer's ad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love languages, am I right? Um, there we go. For Norm, again. I... Don't tell me when. But, oh. Hello. I'm very much looking forward to the water mount. Fallout Shelter! I played that when that came out. That was fun. Um, now you want to play Fallout 4. I always, like, I've come to terms that I will never finish Skyrim or Fallout 4. They're just too big and I just get too excited running around doing side quests. Where is the satchel? Is it underneath you? Are you sitting on it? Oh, 
found it. I'm out. <laughs> And that should be everything. Okay. God mode mods. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are here for Buneering. We're here for... Which I still say Bunnery in my head, by the way. Uh, oh, that's a scary one. Uh, we're here for Scyther, we're here for Combi, and we're here for Leafeon. This isn't just burnt toast, this is extra thick, super crunchy, slathered, and butter toast. <laughs> Brandon, the use of that emote is not appropriate. <laughs> Duncan has brownie battered donuts. Oh, for Valentine's I was Baltimore Day? <laughs> Valentine's Day. Wormple. You're so cute. There we go. No, no, get up that slope. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Random, don't. No spoons in the microwave. Oh, whoops. I spent all my morning doing research and I didn't even start the hacking paper. Oh my god. Mendel. <laughs> It's okay, when you have the chance to play Pokemon, it'll feel that much more rewarding, because, you know, your work's gonna be done, or at least started on. <laughs> you don't see me, I'm not here. Chuck my Eevee at it? What do I what do I do? Let's see. Surface is covered in moss. Touching it feels good somehow. Okay. So Do you Do you like? Touch? No, okay. Do you, would you like to evolve? Just open the menu. Oh That makes sense. <laughs> I can't evolve right now, okay. I thought it was going to be in the overworld. I was excited to see it. <laughs> Why can't you evolve? Wait, wait! Just use a portal. <laughs> what happened? Leafeon? Yes! We're gonna get our, our... It's a boy, but... Let's go see him. So cute. I don't think I really use Leafeon much at all in my playthroughs, maybe like one time. But I always think it's, it's a really cute beat position. Look at you! There we go. Okay, um... Anyway. Looking for combis. I think that one's napping. You see an Ultra Sun? Can I please be named after him? You can if you want. I was saying earlier, though, um, I want to catch shinies for each mod. So whichever one you guys like. So if you want me to look for a shiny Eevee and then get a shiny Leafeon. I know Random didn't want a shiny, he wanted just Flareon, so I can do that too, but... I'll see him out. He's a bit pants. That's... <laughs> but yeah, no, I figured because Rosie got one, I wanted to do one for, for all the mods. You want an alpha one? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Alpha Flareon is offensive and I will sit at the change my mind table on that. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, whoops. 
what level? Did you guys see what level I was with this friend? Oh. Research level 9. Okay, so I should probably don't need to catch that many. Hey, Drans, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Here we go. Eevee after eating leaves. Lofi on Eevee after eating bread. <laughs> That's a Pokemon I want to see. I want to be an alpha at Leafeon. Okay, so Pepper, if you go into the Discord and go into the checklist section, write it in there so I won't forget. Because I'll forget which one you've asked for. Yes, Mendelin, do it. Did I not catch any? Oh, I caught one. Okay. I caught one. <laughs> that was really bad. Um, ooh, hello. So I know that there's usually a big, big bun bun down here. But I feel like if I didn't already catch it, maybe I did on my other save file. Oh, there's a big one. Okay. Well, at least I caught some more of these. Let's go see about Scyther. And also, if you guys are just joining us today, we have just unlocked the third area of the game. We are currently in the first area, um, still. Um, I'm just kind of running around trying to up our research level a little bit before progressing. Um, but we are going to jump in here real soon. One poor gong because I kept getting jumped by Floatzel. Low Pony and Lux, right? Yeah, they're really scary. Nope, channel's not family friendly. We used to be. But not anymore. Um, I think there's usually more bun buns over this way. Yeah, I see some. My research level for you is 10, that's awesome. <laughs> I love how when we switched over to not family friendly, um, first thing people in my chat did is exactly what VT and Random are doing. Just not actually swearing. <laughs> but, um, it was funny. We're here for it though. No, mainly, mainly, honestly, the reason I wanted to switch over was being able to play mature games without having to, like, slap a label everywhere, you can imagine. <laughs> Rebecca, there you go! But it also means a lot less work for the mods, not having to police chat. Only swear at Baby Park when Shiny Badoo shows up. Oh my goodness, such a wild language. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> oh, turn around, cutie. To be honest, yeah, usually it is the mods being like inappropriate. <laughs> Let's face facts, usually it is the mods. <laughs> Son of a monkey's uncle. <laughs> oh, 
Random, not yet, but when we start playing a heck of a lot of Mario Kart again, just you wait. <laughs> Which, by the way, does anyone remember, when does that first pack of DLC come out for Mario Kart? Because you bet your boots, we're banging back like Ouija Wednesdays for a little while. Oh no. <laughs> Is it March 18th? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm, I'm hype. I'm excited. I've never played on Coconut Mall. I didn't have Mario Kart Wii, but every single time I play Mario Kart 8, it feels like someone mentions Coconut Mall. So. My Nintendo Online suddenly expired. Oh no, guess I can't play. <laughs> it's okay, Random. I think I have a space open on my family plan. You can come sit right there. And... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think random is on mine. I have- I don't even know who's on mine anymore, to be honest. I have a bunch of people. Just kind of worked out that way. Ow. Rude! To be honest, I actually don't even know if I have space. <laughs> so no, I already own both games. I'm not letting that franchise fade this time. That's really cool. I've never played it, but I've heard good things. At the entire chat. Still can't believe I tried to upgrade Nintendo, simply would not let me. Yeah, that was silly. That was silly. Okay, so I see a lady. And I see a boyo over there, I think. I didn't want your hard earned munmuns. There we go. Mario Kart doesn't like money, otherwise we would have gotten Mario Kart 8 DLC a long time ago. I'm kind of surprised they didn't, like, sweeten the deal a bit with it coming to Switch with Switch-exclusive DLC, but... I like the music in here, it's very chill. It did get the DLC on the Wii U. It did. And it came with that on the Switch, but I'm still surprised they didn't add on to it. DLC was bad because Baby Park. I feel like there are usually more Scythers here, but I guess the last time I was here was during an outbreak. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. Hi, you don't see nothing. I don't even know if these hide me, but I'm gonna pretend they do. I do like SNES Rainbow Road. I like N64 one a bit better. I think. But I just- it's just such pretty colors. <laughs> Yay, okay. Have I only caught two? Oh no wonder my research is low for these guys. I'm just entity for almost two laps. It's over too quickly. It is! I agree with that. Hello. Do not mind me. I'm not even here. Nope. You saw that? Dodge roll away from my situation. There we go. Okay, I think that's probably enough to level up my... Um, my research level. Let's go see. I'm gonna be like 10 off. <laughs> um, the freedom was short-lived. <laughs> Okay. That must be enough, right? Pikachu. Buneary's done. Combi's done. Scyther's... Pfft, no. <laughs> uh, we got a whole bunch of new friends. Yes, there we go. Rank 6. So I'm caught up to my other save file. But my other save file is earlier on in this.
honestly just saying, mod voice chat at some point where we're all just playing this and catching Pokemon, I'm here for it. Um, I didn't catch an alpha, so we could probably go back out. Warrior Coliseum or Riot. You're free tonight? I do already have plans, but I'm here for it another night for sure. Let's shout my reactions. Um, okay, we need more of these. Do I have enough for you? I'm just- I'm putting this out here. When you get far away- oh. From... He's even scarier in, like, slow motion. <laughs> it's just disturbing. A bunch from Mario Kart Tour, I want the classics, not the garbage. I actually don't mind the courses from Mario Kart Tour, I have to admit. Um, didn't find them all that bad. I- I would, of course, like more of- the older courses, but I've played those. I haven't really done tour. So I like, it's the closest thing I'm gonna get to something new, I feel like. Yeah, VT, they're kind of weird. <laughs> In a fun way. Okay, new area chat, let's do it. Let's see who's out here. I have not seen this yet, really, so. Yeah, the flying Pokemon, I think are probably the worst. You're right, that is water. <laughs> Lots of water. 7.8 out of 10 almost. Well, Coast Lens, a simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure they're, you're just as excited as I am to reach this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So many qu So any questions, sorry, before you get started. Um... About Fire Spit Islands. Indeed, Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you speak to a fellow called Is Iskan? Iskan, maybe? Iskan? Iskan. I don't know. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Some of the tour stages are very short, so I hope they fix that. Fingers crossed. Um. Oh, I see lots to explore. What's that? Hollow. I haven't seen these yet. <laughs> cool. Kind of turn off when there are only a few levels of the Super Mario Bros. app. Yeah, I played tour for a short amount of time, but... Oh, <gasps> Yukiverse, yes! It's, it's a lot of fun, so... I hope that you and, and your girlfriend enjoy it. I still think her shoes look like Kingdom Hearts shoes. I do love the fleet. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here and so are you, so now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Um, why? But I'm Gabe. <laughs> Both answers. Very good. You have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. Oof. Wait, are you two on one? Excuse me. I call hacks. That's rude. <laughs> That's very rude. Um. Yeah. I probably should have switched out Leafeon. I gotta do that. We had Chimchar with us. Or... One for now. Oh, 
I generally thought that was just a random Eevee. I mean, that's what I thought at first, and then I saw them, and I'm like, wait, <laughs> really? <laughs> Got frostbite. Oh, that's not good. We don't like that. <gasps> You're having pizza? Enjoy. I don't know what we should do for dinner tonight. <sighs> the fire main looks cool, right? I like it quite a bit. Yeah, the size conditions are different as well, yeah. I feel better. The world is vast and I'm small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Alright, with you, I think I can be frank. I thought you were Irida. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth... I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends to no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to see, Polina, she's very dear to me no matter what anyone might say. We're both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helps the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. Look how there's just this tree shaking in the background. <laughs> You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Cool, cool, cool. Um, no, wrong item. Or wrong thing. Hi! <laughs> if Trout the general store could just get some different goods in stock, I'd have more to sell. Don't mind me. Have you got your Pokemon team and your items all ready for your excursion? Not really. With the way they act around each other, you could tell me they were ex-girlfriends, and I believe it. Ooh, I'm excited to see. Uh, you. There we go. Okay, so let's, um, let's head down this way. And explore and catch everything and see what new items there are, get people's satchels. Oh, I found the springtail. You do not perceive, cutie. You do not perceive. Look at how cute you are. That was not a good back shot. Oh, we caught it though, nice. They really went along with the soundtrack of this game, too, though. Just really nice to listen to. What is- oh, it's not- <laughs> I think that's a collectible item. I was like, what Pokémon is that? Unless it is a Pokémon. I don't think it is. <gasps> oh, the kitty fell asleep! Okay, okay. Shh. Do not. Don't wake the kitty cat. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> I thought this was a Pokemon. Do you guys see the screen flickering every now and then? Like just now? Do anyone else see that? Am I losing it? Huh? 
every time I say it. <laughs> um, it's an issue with the game. Okay, good. I was like worried it was my Elgato or my uh, my Switch acting funny. No, no, heck. Oh, that, oh well. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Got it eventually. Only in certain areas during night. Okay. That's not too, too bad then. I think I'm gonna start saving more often though. I'm a bit nervous about it crashing on me. And I don't think I've really saved too much today. Oh, hey, we got our second stamp. I... I didn't hand in my research progress. <laughs> so I'm still only five stars, heck. That's my fault, I was being silly. Get to turn off the autosave for like shinies and stuff. Um, I have mine off, but I also like I try to save pretty frequently. Yes, <laughs> there you go. Oh, sorry, right? I was heading this way, wasn't I? I'm excited to see what shinies you get first. And nothing Pepper wrote out. Yeah, I had Mike reading through that again the other day. It was handy. I like this area so far. It's pretty. Oh, ho, ho, you're you're a big friend. Like, real big friend. Don't turn around! Don't turn around! Don't turn around! Stop it! Stop! It. Stop moving! No. Right in the bum. Okay. Heck. <laughs> You're gonna try to catch them all as shiny? That's cool. Shiny living decks are fun. Mash and B, and it, it was not working in my favor. Quite literally taking notes. <laughs> you won't be able to unlock that right away, but it'll still be cool for you to, uh, like, know what to do. Torsion hunting because I want one of each level of the starters. I don't blame you. The starters are, uh, Really cool. Yeah, I mean, at least I feel I have split feelings on it because I feel like a lot of people will just sit there and, you know, they don't get to progress the game until they catch that shiny and like they actually want people to play the game, but that's how some people enjoy playing it, so. <gasps> Is that Apom? Hi! I hadn't seen you yet, you're cute!
You looked pink from far away. That was kind of scary. I think it's Apom, Pichu, and... There's another Pokemon. I can't remember which one. Will always remind me of the Pichu Brothers short from Pokemon Channel. <laughs> always. Houndor, no, it was another small one. It may have been a Teddy Ursa. Maybe? It's been a very long time since I saw that short. No, it... Mm, I don't think it was Teddy Ursa. It's a little pink one, I think. Oh, smooch him, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so apparently there is a lost satchel here. I don't think Smoochum's even pink now that I'm thinking about it, but you guys know what I mean. Wait, is Smoochum pink or... Maybe it's purple? Okay, um, there is a side quest somewhere in here. <clears throat> Turn around, cutie. No, that's not turning around. Please? Light purple? Okay. Ibuki, hello! How are you doing today? Welcome on in. We're currently actually just working on uh, catching a whole bunch of Pokemon. We just entered the third area of the game. Um, I'd love to do some shiny hunting, though. I love just kind of getting sidetracked in this game. Welcome on in. Are these things I can actually pick up? Oh! Cool! I had I was looking at those when we were crossing by. Thank you so much for the follow. We were crossing out of this er area earlier. But I didn't know if it was actually something I could pick up. One just fell asleep. Oh, heck. Gotta catch them all. Or in this case, it's just catch all. Was it please catch all Pokemon? I can't remember what they. What Arceus said. They phrased it differently. <laughs> Nothing happened. You definitely weren't just in a Pokeball. Seek out all Pokemon, that's the phrase, thank you. Catch thy all. <laughs> Fancy. Oh, jeez. Go and turn. Turn your little butt around. Thank you. Nice. Um, there's like this back area here. Let's go explore this way. I know there's a side quest there, but let's go see what there is over this. Oh, hi. Oh, Jack, I really hope that you can find it soon. Big friend. Hey, Sorcerer Crow, how's your day going today? Level 50. There we go. Oh, no, he angry. Okay. Alright. No, you see nothing. I am not here. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. Oh my goodness. Look at you go. Oh, I need to adopt you. Turn around. 
Oh my goodness. Yes! <laughs> oh, what a cutie. Oh, small baby. I think I've caught one of these in a cave in the first area. But... Can you name him Big Daddy, please? I'll be able if I remember. Also, Mendelin. Look who it is. I like the flowers here. There we go. I know, we just... right in the booty. <laughs> right in the booty with a Pokeball. Made of wood, too. Like, that would be painful. Okay, cool. Well, that was... a very successful area. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Just because I don't trust this game an inch. I'm gonna get Shiny to name after me, though, because I'm Shiny. We will- we'll, we'll get you one. Eventually. Oh, no, no. I do like it's blue. I do like the fact that it's blue. Oh, you can evolve now. Nice. Awesome. Alright, let's get uh, Monferno evolved. Yeah, Jack, this, this is the third area of the game. So, I've been to the first area of the second, but now we're into the third. So, entirely different area, different Pokemon, different spawns. Is it blue? No, zero. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Awesome. I might take another crack at catching this one, but I don't think we're going to. Its hands are kind of like I don't even mean like the hand tail things. I mean like its hand hands, its arms. We catch it. We catch it. If we don't, it's fine. Oh hey, nice. All right, there's an alpha. No. Oh heck. Oh dear. Guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Have you seen a fellow from the construction corps named uh, Yorich? Uh, no I haven't. Oh, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. I just remember we asked, we, we agreed that we'd help someone find their lost sister I think earlier and I completely forgot. They'll be fine. Look at how pretty this is. Look at that sky. It's gorgeous. Would you go shopping? <laughs> okay. Hello. I am not here to bother you. Don't even worry about me. Oh, it's bright here though. Jeez. Yeah, ow. Oh, there's a, uh, a gold duck there. No, 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 cutie. Oh, is that a Togepi? Oh my god, hi. I'm far too excited for this. Touch that guy after he's like, hey, yeah, let me know if you ever find my sister. Oh no. Oh god. Was that not a back attack? Was that on the side? Yay. Togepi caught. But yeah, for the- oh, there's another one! <laughs> um, for those who have beat the game or are further along than me, how are you guys enjoying it? Are you guys gonna do post game or are you done with it? Is it sleeping? Oh, it's sleeping. Nice. Okay.
Future sea pancake. <laughs> Love it in post game is so fun. I've heard good things about post game. Really the Pokedex. Very first for any Pokemon game I've played. They made it so fun. They really did. They they really outdid themselves here. Oh, that's not so good. Um, you know, if possible, a Golduck would be actually pretty cool. I think we already got one, like evolved, but gotta work on the entries, right? It blew. It 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 is blue. Yeah. There you go. Right in the shoulder blade. Perfect. It's not gold. Zero out of ten. Is that a ship over- oh, hi, no, no, shh. Okay, good, it caught him. I was like, I'm gonna go running by and he's gonna break out and scare me. Hi, cutie, I'm not here for you, don't worry. I think I've already finished that entry. Maybe? Bye-bye. I have. I am not after you. Don't even worry about it. Ooh, that one's new. Yeah, I wish they, they had changed Shiny Psyduck. Yeah, they should have made him gold. And just swapped. Uh, or obviously Psyduck turns blue, so. Oh, no. Oh, That is a big bird over there, and I kind of want it. Nice. Oh, and it is raining. Um. Okay. Someone needs to rate shinies. I do, but I'm scared someone's gonna like complain. I mean, I know a lot of people completely disagree with me. Honestly, any shiny that's blue is almost guaranteed. 10 out of 10 for me. Heck. I like how they're like, did you feel that? Did you just get hit with a Pokeball too? <laughs> Menzel, we gotta get you to rate the shinies before you start playing. Oh, that wasn't a back attack. No. <laughs> Come on. Turn. Oh, no, not that way. <laughs> Turn the other way, please. It might take a while, yeah. But it is cool that like your first, other than Pokemon Go, your first experience with Pokemon is going to be them out in the wild, like, you know, moving. Whereas for a lot of us, it was, you know, still static images, maybe animated in battle. It's kind of cool. This ship is creepy. We're here for it, though. You guys remember, I think it was on the 3DS, there was like a sound menu you could go into, and there's like a little budgie. Anyone remember that? These birds always remind me- Ooh! Oh, cool new ghost Pokemon. Oh. I haven't even seen your baby form yet. Yeah, no, I'd love to see them do- more of this. I'd love to see them more do do more. <laughs> do more, that's how you say that. Of the um, the original style, but like bring over some of the quality of life features. Uh oh. Yeah. From the side games as well, and I'd be very happy. Oh, hello. Can I add a curiosity? Oh neat! Okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, those guys freak me out. How far over does this go? Oh, we're missing a uh, satchel over here. Screenshot of a Pokemon Stadium minigame. I'm so nostalgic now. I never had the chance to play those. But I've heard nothing but good things, so. Would we be okay with Gen 1 Remix if it was a Legends Mewtwo and Kanto is massive? Yes. I'm also, like, I'm not against them doing Gen 1 again and again. I know a lot of people are, which is fair. What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, I'd be fine with that. Donini, hello? How's it going? I think I can tell what may have taken out this person over here. I don't like the original graphics, but it could just be because I didn't grow up playing the games. Yeah, there's definitely a certain amount of nostalgia, especially if you look at the sprites for like OG red and green, maybe, or uh, to a lesser degree, red and blue and, and yellow. They're a little janky, but you got to start somewhere. Legend Selby, please and thank you. Yeah, Gen 2 is where it's at. Green price for something. They were, you know, you couldn't tell what it was from behind, but it's okay. You just use your imagination. <laughs> Legend of Axis, even though we've gotten a lot of Hoenn, I'd be down for Legends for all the games. I'd also be down for Let's Go of all the games, but. First of Sun and Moon? I was so hyped for Sun and Moon. And I, I did enjoy it the first time around, but. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon is not so fun for me. Or Region Pokemon Coliseum, yes! <laughs> Even if they just do like a little port of um, Coliseum and XD over to um, like a virtual console, I'd be happy. Leaf Green? Fire Red and Leaf Green were great. Heart Gold was my first Pokemon game, I think. I love a remake of those. Heart Gold, Soul Silver were just top tier. Longer development time. Arceus is great, but imagine if it had double development time. Yes! And like, you know, I love this game. I think it's great. It's a lot of fun. But I will say, you know, if they had taken some more time, especially to work on the graphics a bit, uh, you know, the Switch isn't massively powerful. We know that. <laughs> but if it can run games like Xenoblade, you know, um, I'd, I'd be happy if it looked a bit more close to that. Because <laughs> going from Xenoblade to this, it's very jarring. Hargold's a remake, though. Would they remake a remake? A re-remake? Oh, Chansey! Oh, oh, that's a scary Chansey! Okay, I'm gonna save. Um, I feel like it's a possibility. I feel like it's a possibility. Look at how many times, you know. You know, we had red and green, we had yellow, we had uh, going back to Kanto, at least kind of, in gold, silver, crystal, we had, um, and heart, gold, silver, silver. Um, we had let's go, we had fire, red, leaf, green. Thank you for the follow. Um, I don't want to say it's off the table. I'm hoping it's not as well. It's a yellow remake specifically, yeah. Okay, I would love a big Chansey. That would just be like, you know, overall one of the coolest things ever. Oh, you're a little bit scary, I have to admit. You see nothing. Is this a static one? Does this one usually spawn here, I'm guessing? Poetry games in a big Switch package and allow you to trade between them? Yes. The fact that they kind of did, not exactly like that, but similar enough with the 3DS, they could do it. You know, they could port them forward. And, I, you know, people would buy it. <laughs> I would. I'm just the... <laughs> The vacant smile and the red eyes is really scary. <laughs> I 
wonder if I can... I don't think that was a back strike. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone. I'm not here. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh, God. No. <laughs> I'm not here. Don't look at me like that. Stop it. <laughs> oh, geez. That's horrifying. That is nightmare material right there. What rank are you? Rank five at the moment. I could actually rank up to six. I just forgot before I left. <laughs> oh, blue hour. That emote. I should really have altar balls on me. I think I can actually make those. Or maybe it's rank six I get those. I haven't played this game and it looks so good. It's a lot of fun. Ooh. Distortion, you say. Can I reach that from here? Oh, just nice. Okay, fingers crossed, chat. I will sit here until I get you, cutie. Is this also open world? Um, it has really, really big areas. It's not entirely open, um, but each area is pretty massive. <laughs> um, so. Oh, right, speed points will go to waste. At least I think that's how it works. I don't, they might. Does anyone know about that? Cause I was actually wondering the same thing myself. It's Alpha Chance, he wants to kick my Umbreon's ass. I got my revenge leader on. If that's the case, I've lost a lot of points for this region because I, I caught so many new Pokemon here, but that's fine. It's fine. Whoop. Maybe just... does not want to know me. <laughs> the stare off. Um, chat, what are you guys having for dinner tonight? I know, Pepper, we heard about your dinner. What are y'all having? And if you've already eaten, what did you have? Next people are, you'll just sit there, yeah. I thought it carried over, like, once you actually come back again. It, it's possible, anything's possible. Hopefully it does, but never know. Oh, I can see the distortion. That's actually really close by. Pretty sure it carries over. You have McDonald's. You have KFC. Oh, nice. Considering walking over to McDonald's because it's beautiful outside. Okay. I wasn't going to order fast food, but I hear Mike polishing off a bag of chips. <laughs> um... See past the tree. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to throw the. <laughs> okay. I thought another streamer had a double rank up, so I think that means they carry over. Increase your health by catching odds. Yeah. I uh, I meant to do it before I came into this region, but then I got sidetracked. <laughs> I think there was suddenly a lot of side quests, and I just started running around. Is faster. Oh, no. One of us. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what Mike feels like. The sky is so pretty. I know. The colors. No. <laughs> you do not perceive. Come on. Stay. Do I got anything that you'll like eat? I never really do this. Do you like that? Is that some good stuff for you? Oh. Oh, well, don't mind if you do. All right. That would have been better from back attack, I think, but... I got lots of these. We could go all day. Why can't I catch you? I gave you that berry and you won't even let me catch you.
No catch, only throw. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm getting, you know, dex entry up for feeding it, but. If this one's static, I might just come back, but I really want you. And I'm also just kind of stubborn. What level are you? Oh, jeez. Okay, yep. Yep. Um, what level are you? 51? Alright, I have the high ground, Chansey. <laughs> oh, wait. You're, kind of, you're usually very tanky, aren't you? Okay, this is gonna be fun. Oh dear. You just heal yourself? Yep. Alright. Alright, you do that. Do you guys find yourself using the uh, strong and agile moves very often? That didn't really help us too much. Oh, you're just gonna heal. Alright, well... I can just sit here chucking Pokeballs at it, maybe? I'm pretty sure level 6 I get Ultra Balls as well, so maybe it would be smarter just to come back. Then put them to sleep, then use a Heavy Ball, normally don't even have to take their health down. That's smart. Don't know if I have any sleep- Oh no, I have Hypnosis, don't I? Yeah, I have hypnosis on uh, on this friend. <laughs> Whoopsies, wrong button. Hmm, that hurts. Okay. There we go. Do, um, the Heavy Ball and, like, all those other ones work at a battle all that well, though? I've never really bothered trying to use them. Fart, yes. That was my chat. <laughs> I'll use them in battle. Oh, okay. One more try, and then we'll. If it breaks out of its sleep, then. Mm -hmm. Too drastic to move, that's what I like. Actually, that's me in the morning. <laughs> I think it will be too. If I caught the alpha, <laughs> alpha, um, Rapidash at the level I did, I, I can catch you. You're just being obnoxious about it. Also, hydrate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got my, um, Starbucks strawberry drink this morning. <laughs> it was really good. Okay, you know what, cutie? I'm gonna come back for you. I have not- I will not forget about you, and I'm gonna be back. Because you, <laughs> you're destroying daylight here. Don't destroy my sweetheart. It fought off his dress Okay, perfect timing. Okay, fine. Go all the way back. Oh, right, I'm being targeted. Right. What are you drinking today? It's a strawberry uh, refresher. There's a little bit of caffeine in it, so. It's one of my favorite Starbucks drinks, and it's also. Oh, 
actually pretty low calorie, which I like. Hello, hi. We caught some cuties. We caught an alpha. I'm pretty happy about that. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Tokipi's Pokedex is done. Mossum is done. Nice. Metal is so good. Okay, yeah, so as you can see here, so my research points are going up, but the, to the next rank thing didn't, so I, I wonder about that. Let's do some science, just for funsies. Sorry, smack my desk. <laughs> like the bitter taste of it? I, I've never gone into bitter, unfortunately. I don't even usually have coffee. And if I do, it's like a splash of coffee with far too much cream and far too much sugar. Or milk or whatever. Okay. So. I need to organize this nonsense. Uh, you are an alpha. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna need to craft some more, um... Pokeballs here. We spam that chancy. <laughs> I know. I was thinking that. I think it was Sword and Shield even. Um, I really want to have them organized by a dex number, but... Call it four times. Super Saiyan, have an amazing time. Enjoy it. Okay, let's take a look. I should have got this a while ago. <laughs> Officially attained the rank of 6 star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Alter Balls. There we go. Up to level 80 will also obey your orders reliably. I'll keep lurking your stream popping in here and there. Thank you. Alrighty. Um, so that is good. That's good. Let's go see what I need for Ultra Balls. Yeah, I probably could. I probably could. Oh, okay. So just it doubles, essentially. Uh, we need to go farming for tumble stones. So. Make some more of these. <laughs> Perfect. And I think I had apricorns over here. Does this music sound different? The music progresses as you update the village, doesn't it? This village, the music sounds different. I still love it. I still love this song, but... I just suddenly realized what I was listening to. quest here no okay clear out the boulders which one's the ones around the farm field or the farm ones so we we cleared out one patch by doing a side quest earlier i don't know if the other patch is the same way or is it different don't remember what triggers it. Oh, okay. I guess we'll find out eventually. 
So, we have about 20 minutes left. I kind of want to see if we can't trigger a... Uh, outbreak. <laughs> Mainly because I haven't done one today and I have, you know, a slight addiction to doing them. Um, but also just for funsies. Let's see if we can't get one going. As much as I want that chancy. I really, really, really want to get more EVs. Eh, what's this color? What's this shiny? Um, but I'm down for anything. But I think Atlas will port the Persona Q series to Switch first. Q2 was re released so late in the 3DS life that Atlas didn't dub it, despite the popularity of Persona 5, Persona 3 Portable, and 4 Golden English cast. I, um... I'd be down for any any new persona they want to put on. Or any persona at all. Three hippos? Oh, that's cute. More of a mint green? Alright. Actually, wait. Save. <laughs> I remember how to do this. Said they didn't announce Breath of the Wild. I wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. I think Breath of the Wild, if anything, is going to be like... A, um... A, uh Late 2022 release? Like, holiday? Um, and they were talking about the first half. I, I still would love to see it, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, the shinies could definitely use some work. You saw nothing. Oh, I still need to switch out, uh, Monferno. Yeah, we were talking a bit about it earlier. I was hoping for Mario Kart 9 as well, but I can see why they didn't. Um, Mario Kart 8 is still selling super well. Nope. You see nothing. Now. Shines in general just aren't that good, no. Just four hours before Nintendo direct in your stream, and then yeah, <laughs> and then there's the Zelda Link Chronicles three trailer. Yep. Oh no! You how did you? You saw enough? Oh, there's a shiny. <laughs> Not the one I'm fighting. There's one over there. I I heard the noise. Bear with. There he is. I think. That's him over there. His uh, leaves are different color. Oh, he's teeny. That was quick. <laughs> he's a little small bean. Okay, let's catch you. Go. All right, if you want to turn around for me, that'd be great. Okay. Fingers crossed. Nice. All right, there's our shiny. What are we going to name him, chat? Oh, wait, I don't want to use great balls on you guys. <laughs> Toot. <laughs> All right, if you guys are joining us, by the way, we, um, uh, we've decided to do a little name giveaway every time I catch a shiny. Um, whether they're on our team or not. <laughs> so think of some good names and in a second I'll start up the giveaway. <laughs> Wait. You know what? Can I just front? Oh. Right. You want to fight. Yeah, the shiny odds in this are crazy. One and 
128, 158, depending on the research level. Yeah. No, they're. I think it was an exaggeration, but yeah, they're they're crazy. I don't think we're gonna get another shiny, but I'm still wanna complete this. Okay, I don't think any more are spawning. There we go. Yeah, no, Random could never rig the raffle. <laughs> Even when he had the bot actively on his side. Couldn't rig it. Breaks the raffle. Random, don't you dare. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Will he already be in here? It will be, right? There he is. Oh, wait, I can change name from in here. Okay. So, um,. Let's get a raffle going, shall we? Think of your names, you guys. Uh, this is for... Um... Okay, so you have two minutes. Type exclamation mark name if you have a name for this cutie. He's not on our team. Or she, sorry, is not on our team. Um... We can name it whatever. It can be named after you. It can be named uh, something punny. It can be named something dumb. <laughs> Dear Lord. I thought you guys named my babies. I'm also going to move him into the shiny pasture with the others. And if you guys haven't seen already, we didn't nickname that one. That one's a story one. We have Trouble. We have... That one's meant to be Fish. Um, Yzma. Rosie. And... Da -da -da whoop. So. Alright, let's see what the bot picks, shall we? Also, if you're trying to name it something inappropriate, for reference, <laughs> when we were naming Fart, uh, it wouldn't just let us name it that. We had to put the periods in between. Shiny, I found. Yes, we got really lucky and found an Eevee outbreak early on. Um. And I, I love Espeon so much, so. <laughs> Alright, bot. Any minute now. Any minute now. Wait for it. I don't do anything, I just let the bot do everything, so I don't I can't even hit a button. <laughs> Try to think of what I would name this one. I don't know why, but I'm thinking potato chips. I name him like chip or something i don't know <laughs> maybe i'm hungry bot i swear to god it's been two minutes bot come on you can do it oh three seconds two seconds one second andros okay what do you want to name it what are we naming this cutie What are we naming her? <laughs> also, if you guys didn't win, what were you going to name it? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Audrey 3. Okay. Audrey. Three? Like that? Are kind of eyes safe for now. Godzilla reference. Toot will be safe for another day. <laughs> Alrighty, there you go. Awesome. Another shiny. So that adds to the collection. I am very happy about that, but I think you guys for now, that is actually where I'm going to end it. I didn't think we'd find a shiny that fast. It was very, very quick. Um, if you guys are new here and you enjoyed what you saw today, do I have my social sling up yet? I do! You can find me over there at those socials if you guys want to follow me. I do have 
TikTok now. We got Twitter, which is usually where I post where I'm going live or when I'm going live. We, of course, have this Twitch. <laughs> and we have Fan House as well, which is kind of cool. I think I'm going to add on my YouTube in there instead of my Twitch. I didn't think this through, did I? Um, also, if you guys are new, I usually go live every day at 10 a.m. Eastern, except for Thursdays and Fridays. Um, weekends at the moment is all Pokemon Arceus, so we've been loving it far too much. Um, if you guys want to hang out, though, for just a second, just a second, I think I heard whispers and rumors of Rosie starting an Earthbound playthrough today. And I love Earthbound to pieces. I'm loving it. So let's get a raid going. Let's see, is she live? Where is she? Oh, she is! <laughs> Earthbound is amazing. If you guys have not ever seen it, please give it a chance. Rosie's also awesome. She's a mod. She's a fellow Canadian. She's a cat mom. Let's go hang out with Rosie, shall we? She's also huge into Pokemon, so if you want to continue talking Pokemon, I'm sure she's there for that also. Uh, start raid. There we go. I'll be back tomorrow, you guys, 10 a.m. Eastern. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all next time. Thank <laughs> you.